is uh, Tuesday, uh, April the 13th today. Uh, we got California Department of Fish and Wildlife out here again doing a, another stock in a trout right now. This is your fish report for April right now. So it has just been uh, fantastic. But you guys see, we got a truckload of fish coming in today, courtesy of the uh, Fish and Wildlife, your fishing license money. Going to good use here. Let's go. So we got a bunch of trout going in right now. The uh, trout fishing here on the Kern River has been awesome. Fishing game is fishing every or stocking every single week. Um, lots of stockers going in. They're uh, doing an excellent job on this. So the trout fishing on the river expected to be awesome. We got the. The uh, heron, he's sitting there waiting for a free meal. He's going to snatch one of these guys up here real quick. So, uh, he knows how to fish. But expect the fishing to just be good all the time. I know it's been really excellent for about the last month. The weather's awesome right now. It's uh, running in the uh, mid-70s right now. It's going to be up in the high 80s this weekend. So, it's going to be uh, awesome. The river's not flowing too much. We're looking at oh, about 500 cubic feet per second. So it's good as you can see not much traffic here and there we go guys what you wait for some beautiful kind of rainbow trout getting planted in but again expect the fishing to be real good here And just so you guys know, when you guys see these trucks coming in here, this is not the only place they stock. They stock the whole river, all the way from uh, here, all the way up to basically the Johnson Dale Bridge. So there's 25 miles of river. Most of the time, oh, there he goes, he got one. I told you he was gonna snatch one up real quick. But uh, they're, they're stocking all up and down the river. This here, this is just like the end of the uh, thing after they've gone and stocked everywhere else. They got some fish left. They'll come out here and they'll, uh, pull the plug, dump the last time out here. So we just happen to be an easy place for them to get down in so they don't have to chase those last few fish around with a net in the tank. Trying to do that. So, uh, yeah, fishing should be great later. Should be. If I was a bet, if I was a betting man, that's what I would say. Yeah, look at... Yeah, as soon as I seen him land, I knew he was... Uh, so yeah, guys, expect the expect fishing, fishing to be license. good. And uh, Isabella, Lake Isabella, I know everybody wants to know about that, the crappie down there. I was down there yesterday afternoon in the wind, caught uh, seven in an hour, so the crappie fishing is back on. I'm going to try and get some uh, some crappie video for you today if I can get out there, I'll see. So there may be something at the end of this video letting you see a little bit more there. But the uh, catfishing down by the dam has been awesome. Uh, bass, I know, are starting to come on. But the uh, crappie, it uh, should be good. I only fish jigs, so they're biting the jigs now. So uh, if they're biting the jigs, you know the minnows are going to be even better on that. But uh, anyway, guys, quick stock in here. I'm going to see. I think he's got the other tank. He's got to drop out still yet. So we'll give you some more views. But they moved out real good. As you can see, those fish are gone. They're going to go down through the park, up through the campground. day guys looks like that's the end of that so anyway I want to just thank fish and game for always keeping us good oh looks like we got one more tank to go here we'll get that one in there too the end of that tank. but we are here once again at the Riverview Lodge in downtown Kernville we are right at the bridge right up, up river from the park Got lots of midweek vacancies right now. Weekends are filling up fast if you're looking to make reservations. Um, let's say fishing. What do you want? You want crappie? You want catfish? You want trout? Everything's biting right now. It's springtime fishing. It's fishing. It's fine. I'll get some crappie pictures up here. Try to later if I can get out there. We're predict they're predicting about 50 mile an hour gusts this afternoon, so it might be a little difficult. But uh, by Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be calming down. The weather and it's going to be just gorgeous this weekend actually kind of warm more warmer than what we'd like so but that should work out real good for uh, all the fishing everywhere as you can see 
light pressure today. Your only uh, your only real competition you got is the heron over there waiting for another freebie. He choked that trout down. Well, here we go. That magic sound. You just heard him say there's some fish in here going up to four pounds, so can't get much better than that. Awesome, you hear him say it. There were 400 pounds of fish got stocked in today. Yep, we're getting a lot of fish. Alright, so, King of the Kern, signing off for now, from the river, hopefully I'll have a little bit of uh, lake action for you later, show you some crappie, if they're biting today, but uh, if not, everybody will see you soon, and here's the tight lines, full stringers. The Kern here, we're down at uh, Lake Isabella. Here, same day that the from the uh, crappie stock, and Jacob's with me today. Jacob, show show him that fish, that crappie. Yeah, I caught this crappie on a blue sparkle white jig. Nice. With the bobber? With the bobber, about like from there to there. Okay, like four about four feet feet deep or so. And the white crappie nibble. With the crappie nibble. All right, nice. I got one in the basket over there. Hopefully. Uh, Fish is going to pick up a little bit more here, and I'll show you some more. Show that fish. Hold it up sideways. There. Yeah, there you go. Look at that fish, guys. Everybody wants to see those crappies. So crappie time, guys. This weekend is going to be like, uh, oh, 80 degrees up here. It should be, should be great. So thanks, Jacob, for sharing that fish.